drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! Larry Kruger here in the studio talking to Marcus Cousins. All right, the story of the weekend of All-Star Weekend in New Orleans was the Kings sent to Marcus Cousins packing and got nothing in return of note. Uh, this is one of the worst trades, if not the worst trade, in the history of the NBA. I mean, you're talking about a 26-year-old big man who might be one of the three or four best players in the entire league, and he's definitely one of the three or four best big men in the league. 27 points, 10 rebounds. Um, he's a big-time player. We're talking about a 26-year-old three-time All-Star. Love him or hate him, and a lot of people have a reason to hate him. He, he, I know he's an immature guy, but you're also talking about an asset. You wouldn't sell your house for 30 cents on the dollar. You don't sell your NBA big man for 30 cents on the dollar either. What do they get? They get Buddy Heald, who's averaging less than nine points a game on a horrendous Pelicans team. Uh, what else do they get? Langston Galloway, nice little reserve. Uh, Tyreek Evans has got a past but no future. He's hurt all the time. They'll probably buy him out. They get a first round pick, but if it lands in the top three, they don't get it. And they get a second round pick, and they're trading their franchise player. It was a horrendous move by Vlade Divac. And the only thing worse than the trade was Vlade coming out the day he made it and say he had a better offer 48 hours earlier. I mean, that's like the worst PR in the history of basketball. You have your fans going, whoa, whoa, whoa what was that trade? Whoa, whoa, whoa. DeMarcus is gone and Sacramento is not has no relevance. They are an irrelevant franchise and they will continue to be an irrelevant franchise. And sadly, Vivek Ronan Deve, he may be rich. He better spend some time going to the ATM counting his money because he ain't winning any NBA titles anytime soon. And Vlade, this is your legacy. This will be the only GM job that you ever get. And until I see otherwise, Vlade's a boob and Vivek's a rich boob and the Kings are going nowhere. Way to go.